Hello, this is Mrs. Wong here. We are now going through question 4 of the 2 revision worksheet for the 3 wa Triangle ABC is a right-angled triangle with AC as the hypotenuse. We're given the lengths of the three sides of the triangle in terms of X. Part A wants us to form an equation and show that the equation can be simplified to this. Now for a question like this, where we only have information of the lengths of each of the three sides of a right angle triangle, we will try to form an equation relating them using Pythagoras' theorem. So my hypotenuse, AC square, is equals to AB square plus BC square. So I put in the lengths. And I do my expansion. And finally, I do my simplification to show this equation. Now you have to recall on how you do your expansion. So when I have a plus b square is actually a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this will help you to expand x plus 1 square, a square plus 2ab plus b square, as well as for x minus 7 square, we will use a minus b square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Let's go on to part 2. Part 2 wants us to solve the equation. Now do also note that if you were unable to solve and show the answer for part A, you can actually proceed to do part B instead. Solving the equation. I'll factorize x squared minus 16x plus 48 to give me this. And since I have a multiplied by b equals to 0, I have a equals to 0 or b equals to 0. Simplifying will give me these two answers. Let's go on to part c. For part c, the question wants us to use simple calculations to explain which answer in part b should be rejected. So there are two answers here, both are positive. So I will have to do a quick check by substituting the values of x into the original triangle. So if I were to substitute x equals to 4 when bc is seven, uh, x minus 7, I will actually get a negative length for BC, which does not make sense because the length of a triangle should all be positive. So I will reject x equals to 4. And you have to also do the same check for all three sides of the triangle using x equals to 12 to check that you would not reject x equals to 12. So this is my answer for question 3. 